What is passive aggressive behavior? Mm. What does it look like? How do you deal with it? Here's where I try to give you guys some insight, help you laugh through the crap that's holding you back. <laughs> I may or may not be successful at making you laugh, but if I am, let me know. If that sounds like something that you're interested in and you're ready to get your noggin tickled, then stick around. Okay, cool. Right then. Moving on. My name is Keisha Martin and I'm a licensed therapist. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi. Now I'm not gonna cover everything today, but I am gonna give you some signs to look out for, to be mindful of, that you might want to address if you notice it in someone else or within yourself, okay? Now the first one I'm gonna address is the one that I feel like is the worst. All right, now this is just my personal opinion, but it's the one that makes you feel really shitty about yourself, causes a lot of self-doubt, and can really just kind of beat you down emotionally. And that's the backhanded compliment. A criticism masked as a compliment. So when someone says something to you that is perceived as a compliment at first, but then you walk away and you're just like, wait a minute. Huh? So here are some examples. You look so good for your age. Hey, I saw your new Facebook post. And you look so good, I barely recognized you. Oh my gosh, I love your new hairstyle. It's so cute. It suits you so much better. That was a great speech. I had no idea you could be so articulate. That was really brave to post that picture without any makeup on. Now, for those of you who know me, you know I like to sing from time to time. Music just like comes into my mind when I'm talking about a topic. And as I was thinking about this particular topic, the first song that came to mind was, You're so vain. You probably think this song is about you, don't you? Like, okay, if it's not about the person, then why are you singing about it? Why don't you just say who it is? You're obviously bitter about something. Carly, I like you and everything, but that song's stupid. Out with it, man. Someone pissed you off. Say who it is. It's crap. Anyway, right then. Moving on. So, passive aggressive behavior stems from resentment, bitterness, anger, all kinds of things. It's usually a learned pattern of behavior. The way that I like to describe it is that passive aggressive behavior is just basically not being real, not being open and honest about what you feel. And some people that have a difficult time with this is because they have never observed it growing up or in relationships, they are highly uncomfortable with it, and they've just basically learned how to hide all the feels. I'll give you a few examples. So it might look like sulking when you don't get what you want, or if you're unhappy with how someone has behaved or treated you. You might avoid them when you're upset, go all silent, all the things. That could be an indication that someone is being passive aggressive. They might be resentful, bitter, jealous, whatever the case may be. One might complain of being underappreciated. I do all the things and nobody cares. Got it so far? Cool. Before I move on, are you recognizing any of the things I'm talking about? In yourself or someone else? Let me know. Have you realized this and you've worked on changing it and you've been successful? Let me know and share some encouragement with others on how they might be able to improve themselves and make these same changes if you've been successful doing so. All right, thanks. Right then, so a couple more examples of passive aggressive behavior. Procrastinating, agreeing to do something that you don't really wanna do and then putting it off in the last minute that could be considered passive aggressive. All right, in addition to procrastination, leaving things undone. And this is usually fueled by resentment of having to do the job in the first place. Another one, Saying you're fine when you're obviously not fine. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. All right, that could be another sign. Another one is failure to pass on important information. This could be a form of sabotage. So in the workplace, a person that might be resentful or bitter towards you might fail to remind you of something important. It's just pretty crappy. So some steps to think about. Practicing self-awareness, being honest with yourself, being honest with other people. Practice expressing yourself and give yourself time and be patient with yourself to make these changes. Also, if you recognize this stuff, talk to your friends and your family about it. Like, hey, I noticed that I'm kind of being passive aggressive lately, or I've just realized that some of these behaviors that I have are pretty destructive and unhealthy, and I'm working on it. 
all right? You can also ask them to call you out when they notice it, because sometimes these behaviors are just so ingrained that we don't even catch it until it becomes an argument. So it could be helpful for you to educate yourself on what those patterns are so you can catch it and sharing what you've learned with people around you. Now keep in mind, as I always say, no one is free of guilt from negative, destructive behaviors a time or two. We're all guilty of nonsense, okay? If you notice any of these signs, I would strongly encourage you to try to become more self-aware, become more connected with what you feel, what your needs are, what your expectations are, what it is you value, because being disconnected from those things can certainly contribute to destructive, toxic behaviors. It's just not good for anybody, all right? And if you need help with that, you know what I'm gonna say, okay? I hope that you have found this video helpful and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else. All right, cool. Until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved.